What is up guys? My name is Mark Santamaria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to RC Vlog guys. We're going to install the Wide Max on the X Max today, but we're going to do it a little bit different. What we're going to do is we're actually going to go somewhere and I'm going to drive it stock first and then I'm going to install it and then we'll drive it again. So that way I get a really good feel on the difference between the Wide Max and the 9 Wide Max. So we're going to over to park. We got the tailgate pit area set up. So we'll pit right there, change everything out and then we'll see how it goes. So let's get with it. Look, this is really cool. Oh, a subscriber, Mason, he made this for me. He gave it to me last night at the trail run. That's an MSM ornament. Oh man, that's freaking awesome. Thanks, Mason, you're, you're the man. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drive it. This is not an aggressive, crazy bashing area. It has like these rolling hills where you can kind of go and jump over, which is a really fun jump, but nothing super crazy. But really what I wanna test is the landing and then how it turns. So I'm assuming the wide max kit will actually help on those two things. So we'll find out. I'm gonna put you guys on the car so you can see what it's all about. And then after we're done driving, I will uh, tell you what, what I experienced which most of you guys already know what to expect out of a uh, out of an X-Max. So it shouldn't be too surprising. All right, so this is what I experienced. I'm not gonna lie, it did roll a little bit. When I say rolled a little bit, it rolled slow enough where I could counter steer out of it like a couple times it did come up on two wheels. So I could see someone who's an unexperienced driver rolling this thing. So there is a little bit of roll that it can, it can help with. So there is room for improvement. However, jumping everything else, I didn't case it one time. Again, I didn't jump it super hard, but it's so plush. It just it soaks up everything. It it jumps when, when it jumps, it lands really really soft. Like I don't have any complaints in that department, but I can again I can see someone that's inexperienced driving this car and just turning like flooring it and and turning really hard and ripping it sideways. With all that said, I have a high I have a aftermarket servo in here. I have the the Traxxas. I think it's the 400. So I do have a better servo in it, and it does have enough torque. And I guess just naturally the way I drive is I'm already slowing down before I turn because I know that cars go up on its side. So there is room for improvement, not much, but there is room for improvement. So let's put the wide max kit on now and, and see what it does. Well, guys, that was crazy easy. So basically, it's this many screws. Look, eight screws, a bunch of pins. Oh, sorry, 10 screws and a bunch of pins. And this whole front part came off, like all the arms and everything. So I'm gonna rebuild these. This looks easy enough. Maybe the only thing that's kind of creepy is that clip part. Uh, but we're gonna do the front first, and then we'll do the rear, and then we'll see where we're at from there. Ooh, that's not good. Found it. Make sure you cover these up whenever you take them off. So I'm gonna put a rag over them whenever I flip this thing. Much better. I 
I just dumped everything over here. That's the easiest way, I guess. We'll grab these. Changing out the drive shafts. Got some grease. Ah. All right, so the front components are done. I just got to put them on the car. As I'm putting the springs together and the shocks together, I realize that I didn't bring the directions with me. I don't know if there was like a step to do anything to the actual shocks, like put more different weight oil or taking shock limiters out or something. So I didn't do anything. So I hopefully I didn't miss anything, but if I did, oh well. I think these are just stiffer springs, that's all. Nonetheless, we're gonna put the, these pieces on the car and do the rear real quick. All right, front install done. Rear install needs to be done. Hopefully the front is gonna be a little bit harder. Not harder, but will take longer than the rear because it has the steering links. Um, so let's do the back. We're kind of fighting daylight right now. It looks like there's a lot of sun out here, but it is going down pretty quick. So I, got, I gotta hurry. All right, guys, it's done. All right, first impressions is you don't realize how wide this thing really gets after you put it on. It is way wider. Like in the pictures, I'm like, mm, it's, it's wider. But now it's almost like a, a box, like a, a complete square. It is almost as wide as it is long. And man, that kit was really easy to install. I didn't take the time it, but it wasn't hard. And it was actually pretty quick for all the pieces that I put on. But man, that thing looks sick. All right, let's drive the thing because I'm too excited. All right, I'm driving it one-handed right now. Uh, I didn't adjust the ride height, which I probably should have, but I mean, I did a full turn there. We don't have really have body roll. Oh yeah, see how it, it, it's not rolling. <laughs> it's not rolling at all now. Like it's not even coming up on two. Full throttle turn. Yep, didn't even come up on two on there. So it definitely got rid of that. Like I don't feel like I could have done that with this, the stock setup, the stock arms. So it did get rid of, not the body roll, but it can handle, oh! You see that? It still came up a little bit. That was going up a hill, but I corrected that with one hand. What you know about that, guys? Oh man, sorry, that's not, that's not the best lighting. Let me just drive the thing and then I'll tell you about it here in a little bit. All right, guys, so the verdict is in. This thing drives nice. Uh, it definitely got rid of some of the body roll. You can still get it to come up on two wheels, uh, but it's definitely more stable. I think the most surprising thing is it jumps a lot better. Uh, I say that because that jump, that little gap that I was doing, that I, I do with all my cars, it doesn't jump really high, but it jumps really far. Sorry, it's really cold out here. I've got like uh, snotsicles dropping. Um, but whenever I hit it with the, the first setup, which is the stock setup, it didn't quite jump as high. It kind of just floated over everything. It did probably get maybe two or three feet off the ground. But with this new setup, it jumps much higher. And it definitely lands nice and plush. It doesn't slam down. It probably has a lot to do with the springs that it comes with. But, God, I love this truck, guys. I mean, they really, it really is what I expected. They basically turned a really awesome handling truck into an even better handling truck. So I definitely recommend you get the Wide Max kit. It does change it up a bit and 
now I'm just more confident when I drive it. Like when I drive it, I can, I don't have to worry about when I go far, I can rip it at a fairly decent speed, turn it at a fairly decent speed, much more confidence on the steering wheel with this car, with the wide max kit. So I definitely recommend it. Well, I hope you liked this video guys. If you did smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later guys.